Hey folks, welcome back to the Edupedia world and I am Abhinay Gupta and today again we are continuing with the producer company. Right, so in the previous lecture if you remember we have been discussing about the board of directors. Right, we checked about the limits on the minimum and the maximum number of directors and then we moved ahead to understand the appointment of directors, the time limits, the number of director limits the tenure for the director and how are they to be appointed, what are the different scenarios in case of conversion, in case of new uh, registration and all such stuff, right? So if you're clear with that, today we move ahead to the next step which is the vacation of office, right? So we'll deal with the vacation of office by director which is section 581Q, okay? So over here basically we'll just discuss the basic parameters based on which the disqualification or the vacation of office will actually be attracted to the position of a director. So the office of a director shall become vacant if the director is actually convicted of an offense of moral turpitude. Right? He has entered into any offense which falls into the category of moral turpitude. And moral turpitude is something we have discussed while we were discussing the director's chapter. Right? So we will not get, in, get into the details of moral turpitude. So any offense of moral turpitude whereby he has been sentenced and imprisonment because of that moral turpitude. Right? And that imprisonment was major. Wherein that was not less than three, 6 months. Right? Over here the sign is for greater than 6 months but actually as per the text it is not less than 6 months. So any director who is convicted with an offensive moral turpitude whereby the imprisonment that has been attracted exceeds a period of 6 months then that director needs to vacate the office that he holds as a director. Right? So that is the first criteria for the vacation of the office of director. Apart from that, now if you see if you just read the plain text, if the producer company defaults payment of any advance, the loan continues for 90 days. So actually what this sentence wants to mean, it says that a director, right? So if I am a director, then the producer company in which I am a director, right? So now we are talking about that producer company in which I am a director. It is not my default. So if the company itself defaults the repayment of any advances taken from somebody, or any loans taken from somebody, right, from any other company or any institute or anywhere else. And then they have defaulted in the repayment of those advances or, that, or those loans. And that repayment continues for over the period of 90 days, right, it's as clear as that. So it says that I am a director, it is not my fault, but on the whole, if my company Right, defaults the payment of any advance or loan taken from someone else and that default continues for over the period of 90 days then if I am the director I will have to vacate my office. That means this case actually attracts to all the director you know. Because the company is a defaulter then it attracts to all the director all the director will have to vacate. They are in trouble. Getting it? Yes. Now in the third scenario what happens is now there is again a default of loan and advances, but that is not on the company's end. That is a default made by the director, wherein the loan and advances was taken from the producer company itself. Right? So what is the difference between the second and the third point? In the third point, the loan was personally taken by the director. I as a director, as an individual has taken loan from nobody else, from my own producer company. And I failed or I defaulted the repayment. Whereas in the second point, the loan wasn't taken by the director. The loan was taken by the company. But if you understand, if the directors are actually managing the company, right? So it was the decision of all the directors together. So they have been managing the producer company. So they have taken a loan, but from outside and they have defaulted, right? In the third situation, you don't have any time limit. Anytime default means you vacate office. So they are very strict on it. But in the second one, they have a limit. That is the default continues for 90 days, you have to vacate office. Right? So even if they default once, they have the scope of rectification in the second scenario. 
but in the third scenario they do, don't even have the scope of rectification right last if the producer company has not filed annual accounts and annual return for consecutively three years that is a same disqualification that is attracted in all the companies right so if you haven't filed your annual return and annual accounts for consecutively three years you will have to vacate the office it is as simple as that so if you look at it as the vacation of office by the directors there are just four points wherein the director will have to vacate the office number one convicted for an offense of moral turpitude and it was so major that the imprisonment continued for more than six months number two taken loan two and three both are about loan default but in two the loan has been taken by the company from some other company and the default continued for more than 90 days in number three the loan was taken by the director from his own producer company and defaulted and at end they, the directors they did not file the annual return or annual account for consecutively three financial years clear with that so that was about the vacation of office by directors next we also talk about today the meeting of the board and the quorum right so section 581v basically deals with the board meeting and the quorum of the board meeting so over here also right the board meeting required per annum is four right you'll have to have four board meetings per annum but again every quarter also you will have to have at least one board meeting right so again if you interpret it that way it is every quarter three months three months three months three months so it can be in the first month and then in the sixth month but again they both fall in individual quarters so that is okay right because the text says that it has to have at least one board meeting in every quarter it is not that you'll have to have one board meeting in every 120 days right the quarter is the quarter of the year so the entire year right it is not from the date again three months that is not the limit it is each individual quarter so the gap can be of minimum three four days if it's at the end of one quarter and the beginning of the next quarter or beginning of the first quarter and the end of the next quarter that means a stretch of six months okay with it so now as we already know that if there is a board meeting that has to be held right then every director needs to be informed that yeah there is a board meeting right so how do you inform general criteria we send a notice to all the board of directors right all the directors in the board specifically so the notice of the board the notice of the board meeting shall be given in writing we all know that it cannot be a verbal verbal notice so the chief executive officer of the producer company will actually draft and send the notice to all the members of the board right and this notice will be sent on their usual address in india that is simple right because it says it has to be given to every director who are at the time being in india so if a director is traveling abroad so in producer company you need not necessarily send him a board meeting notice right and this duty will always remain with the chief executive of the company of the producer company right so the chief executive officer sends the notice of the board meeting to all the directors who are in india right and the length of that notice should be not less than seven days that means if you have a board meeting plan next week then this is the week seven days prior to that when you have to send the notice because that is the frame of time given for the directors to be prepared that yeah there is this board meeting gonna be held and this is the agenda of the board meeting let's prepare for it okay it's as simple as that now consider a situation where there is an urgency right that the chief executive came to know one fine day that hey this is a matter that has to be resolved in next three days or four days and then it started drafting a notice and then you say that notice has to be given seven days in advance so the meeting can only be held seven days later so how do they actually deal with that situation so there is a margin given in the producer company as well that okay if there is an urgent situation right then and it's a reasonable ground on which the shorter notice can be floated so you can do one thing you can float a shorter notice that yeah day after tomorrow we are all meeting to discuss this, this agenda and the reason for that shorter meeting or the short notice has to be clearly demonstrated in writing in the notice 
that due to so and so reason I was not even aware of what is going to happen. Right? It is an unforeseen circumstance that has risen and according to it we will have to conduct the meeting in urgency. So that is what can be done. Right? Now if you talk about the quorum. So they have called the meeting. Now how will the meeting commence? A quorum is required. Right? So in a producer company the quorum is one third of the total strength of directors. So if there are 10 directors, one third is 3 directors. If there are 15 directors, one third is 5 directors. So that is the minimum. Right? So otherwise there are two things. If there are for example 6 directors, then one third is just 2. But you cannot have quorum as 2. Right? Why? Because the lower limit is always prescribed at 3. So either you have one third of the total number of directors or a minimum number 3. So if one third is more than 3, you have more as quorum. If one third is less than 3, you have 3 as quorum. So minimum 3 directors have to attend the meeting of a producer company to complete the quorum and commence with the meeting. Right? That is a requirement in producer company. And yeah, obviously when there are uh, board meetings to be conducted, sitting fees will be paid to all the directors. And when I say all the directors, please mark my words. All will include additional and expert directors as well. Right? And the limit of the sitting fees, like what is the sitting fees that is to be given to all the director, will obviously not be decided by the director, right? It, they, that will be decided by the members in the general meeting. So clear with it? Then producer company, there are minor, minor differences. The quorum limit is not two, it is three or one third of the total strength. Again, the length of the notice is seven days acceptable, but the chief executive will send the notice in this case. That is very specifically given, right? One meeting every quarter, four meeting per annum is obviously satisfied. And the sitting fees decided by the board, uh, by the members, right? And it is to be extended even to additional and expert directors. Clear with this? So that is all about uh, the meeting of the board and the vacation of office. There are other topics as well that we will take up but in the next lecture. Right? So until then, this is Abhinay Gupta signing off. Thank you and bye-bye.